Oh, what's up, guys? I got a cool video for you today. So this is Labyrinth of Legends, Aegon, 6-star, rank 3, versus Falcon and War Machine. The two block damage fights, as you will, on the easy path. So if it's your first time doing the Labyrinth, um, you're going to run into a Falcon and a War Machine. And back in the day, when you only had a 5-star, rank 4-star Lord, these fights were like costly because you would just take from their l1s just as you know you can't fully evade it just so much block damage and what you this isn't a fully ramped up aegon only because um my six star rank three aegon is not that high of a sig he's like sig 23 or sign so i did a lot of fights and he just was not getting sigged and he was just not getting ramped up but we're not quite at that 1,000, but we're at least over 750. So we have pretty much everything except for the un uh, unblockable. But what you're gonna see me doing this fight is kind of push him to a special two, like as much as possible to not have to get block damage. But so far we're already like a fourth through and we still have like almost max health. So it's pretty crazy to see how far we've gone, and how fast this fight's gone. We're only like over a minute into this fight and he's like already like a third of his health is pretty much just dropped. And the one thing that's really good about those six star rank three is they have some fat health pools. So like, um, if you do take a special one, which you're gonna see in the video, you're gonna see it's like no damage. Like it actually blows my mind how, how little it was. Cause I remember this fight being so much worse back in the day. So it is funny to see how little the block damage is now. So right here, we, do we take, do we push more special two here? Oh uh, no, I think we get a nice intercept, push him to special two. He has a special two, and then we throw a special three. What I like to do with Aegon is drain them to no power in, in Labyrinth, and then do like three six hit combos. So, you know, it's pretty nice. You can get, that's 18 hits. You can get like a 22 hit combo in, but with the limber, it doesn't really work on this fight. So, you gotta stick to just three six hits. But look at this a medium hit. With Aegon, just did 13, like, thousand damage. And I think at, like, 1,000 hits, it was doing, like, like, 14,000. And that's, like, no boosters at all. Like, if I did boosters, like, like, what I'm doing right now feels like a rank 2 max boosted. So, it is pretty nice in that damage without boost. And I think towards here, we take a special one. And look how much damage this does. Literally, like, a 1%. The block proficiency on Aegon, plus his health pool. It's just like, look at that, another special one. We took like no damage. Back in the day, the special one, him and War Machine were like deadly. Like, you just die pretty much. It was really, it was really kind of sad. And yeah, we're just getting some fat crits. It's pretty nice. So, and I think in the class advantage fights, we hit way harder. So, that was cool. And normally this fight would be like 400 sun hits. This fight's gonna be over before 200 hits even. Look at that, another special one. Look, look, look at that. Not even like 1%. Anyway, the only synergies we have is Nick Fury heal and evade synergy. So that um, we heal 10% of our suicides in the beginning of every fight. And we have the three evade charges. Look at that, like 100. I didn't see many hits, but it wasn't that many. Like uh, less than 200. And then we have the champion synergy for, I think it just like makes him hit harder against big opponents or science. So it doesn't really affect him in this fight, but Next, you go into the War Machine, and you see the healing, heal the spec up to full. I like to run the uh, Nick Fury with Deadpool synergy, and La uh, Labyrinth and Abyss, because, or not Abyss, because you can't run that, but in Labyrinth, at least, because you just get free heals, and Aegon can do, like, every fight, so might as well top him up in the beginning of every fight. You can go through, like, pretty much all of Labyrinth without using a single revive. It's pretty, not that hard with a rank 3 Aegon, really. The Electro and Juggernaut fight might be a little bit questionable, but... He can do it. Electro fight's more just BS than anything. Um, but yeah. Now watching him fight this war machine. And we're only 40 hits in. And he's already like at 75% health. So and look, another special one. Look at that. We take like no damage. Back in the day, you could search back like old videos. Like Star-Lord at rank 4. Like the OG like Labyrinth Clearer. Like these fights were struggles. You'd throw a special one and you'd take like so much block damage it was insane like, i don't understand why they thought that was a good idea 
but rank three six star with like over fifty thousand health. I don't even care, bro. They just tank it. They eat it. I don't give it. How much health do I have? Wait, do I have fifty thousand? It's like I don't know how much health rank three gonna have. To be honest, I think it's like I know it's over forty thousand. I don't know if it's is it fifty thousand. I don't know. But right here, contest champion, day four recap. If you haven't seen his video, go watch it. It's really sick. His um challenge he's doing, like a hundred dollar challenge for like one week to see how far he can go. So yeah. Watch those if you can. They're pretty cool. Interesting to watch. But right here, we're already like eighty hits in. He's like fifty percent down, so another fight's gonna end in like hundred seventy to hundred eighty hit range or something like that. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, give or take, but Another special one, the Aegon. Look at that. We're taking, like, no damage. Like, it, it, it's, like, blowing my mind how, like, little damage you take in this fight. Like, it's just amazing. Because I remember my first run through on the easy path with Aegon, and uh, his, this block damage, not with Aegon, with Starlord, the block damage from these two special ones, it was so scary. Because every time they throw it off, you take a fat chunk of your health. And back then, I didn't, we didn't have Nick Fury for, like, the heal synergy or anything. So it was, like, just good old units. I think I did my first run in, like, two, 3,000 units with Star-Lord. But then now, with Aegon, I can do it in zero units. Just, like, just full, just tank the whole path. I, he just makes it easy. So, yeah, rank 3 Aegon, he's a beast. I can't wait to, um, we're unblockable now, so that's cool. But a little bit too late. <laughs> If Aegon was Iris, like, we would have had him blockable way, way earlier, but, you know, we didn't, so that's a rip. I think right there, I forgot I was unblockable, so, uh, so I just didn't go in, but... Oh, right here we push him to special three. I don't remember doing this. Oh, yeah. So we push him to special three. He still has, like, 14% or something like that. I can't really read it, because Sony Vegas editing is, like, very blurry, so he... Uh, it's selling, like, 14%. I think that says 11 now. I don't know. I can't tell 100%, but... Basically, he was over 10%, and we throw a special 3 for the long stun. And Aegon, I'm, I had faith. He could just tank all the last however much percent, just with that combo right there. And yeah, easy. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.